we projected and we got the outline of the women. As we did our ambassadorship program, we had some sort of guidance and assistance, but this was our first time all by ourselves doing something like this. It was hectic. I'm deathly afraid of heights, but we conquered. Vicky helped me, kept me calm. Rombo Sandosha Marika in the Madhya Taranatla Lar Kudim Namma Namma Pengal Kuda in the Madhya Taranatla Lar Odim Ipriore or Oviata Amunga Muliama Nanga Pandradvandi or Na Edit Patadilla. at a time when this entire area is slowly being completely changed and development is happening. I also want to think about development at what cost and what kind of development are we striving towards that is completely rehousing people in areas that they are not familiar with. So we started this mural process with a workshop where we listen to their stories. Through a series of rituals, we recorded their memories and collected symbols which aided in composing the final image. What I felt like when we started talking to the women in this community and how they faced a huge displacement, because they were not only physically displaced, they were also emotionally displaced. I was it's really exciting to see the first fearless ambassador mural happening in Colombo. Vicky, who is from this community, uh, who is from this neighborhood, whose grandmother used to live in this building, um, it's really special that this was her first mural here as well. One of the ladies' husbands asked, like, what has my wife done to deserve to be painted on the wall like that? And our answer to that was, you know what? Her existence is power. Her daily, everyday routine is almost striving to make sure that her community and the people who depend on her have sustenance. And to paint their stories, women's stories, stories of minorities, is really important and is definitely in contrast to the usual murals that we see spreading all over Sri Lanka with their nationalist propaganda. I think the one thing that really touched me was that all the community members really loved on the artists and the artists were loving them back. Um, even if there was any, you know, kind of pushback against anything, the community members are the ones that stood for it and made sure to empower the artists in empowering them. So it was a very loving circle of, of just art in motion. We want them to walk past these murals every day and feel that sense of power and hope and visibility. And hopefully they get a lot of fire to be able to be the forces that they already are and to keep continuing to be that. <laughs>